EFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. And this is the very first day of March, March the 1st. We've wrapped up the February candle in the monthly chart. We're going to be looking at those in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up in a few moments. Really important right now, what we're looking at is within the context of this new month, the monthly chart we've closed out, and now we've got a price sitting right in the monthly chart on the 14 period moving average in the Dow. The weekly chart is still in a sell mode, and the daily chart is attempting the rally. Had a good three sessions. Today's a real test, and we're looking at the Dow down 184 at 33,711. Look at the S&P. The S&P will go to the daily chart here. It's down 15 at 43.58. Got a lot of resistance at the uh, uh, somewhere between 43.63 and well, today's high is 78. Between, let's call it 43.75 and 43.83. So if we can get above that today, that's going to be good. But we've got to watch out for the downside. Uh, look at the weekly chart. Nice candle from last week. Holding okay. Look at that monthly chart. There's the Chapman falling X formation in, at all-time high, 48.18.62. We'll be talking about where we are, what this all means, having gone below the 14 period moving average in the week in the monthly chart. We're looking at the QQQ, the NDX 100. Yesterday, had a really good session. Um, it's down 78 cents at 345. This is the NDX 100 trading vehicle. It needs very quickly to get to the 30, 350, I would say the 353 to 357 area over the next three to five sessions. That's going to be really tough. With the, with the market conditions as we see them. Uh, we're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, pulling back at $1.68 at 201.73. Had a nice bounce for an M-shaped pattern. This H, lowercase h, goes to another arch. Possible it has to get to the 20650 area. We'll be watching that. Now, gold. Gold is holding pretty well, considering <clears throat> that's such a spectacular move. Currency of fear. And it's up 24 at 1925. We're talking about that's when I get back because the dollar's holding quite well. Crude oil is the story. Look at this crude oil. Crude oil, new high, up six and a half points at 102.14. What a move. And the TLT bonds, bonds China rally, they're up at 36 cents, but this is not comfortable when you think of interest rates. I'll be back in a few minutes for the time to take this hour. Check out my 